Today I'm interviewing golf presenter Diane Knox and I hope she's nice and I'm pretty sure she's nice. Okay. We love going to Nairn on holiday. What is your favorite thing about Nairn? Oh, do you know, I would love to go to Nairn more than anything right now because I am in Florida. I'm sorry. Would you like to see my dog? Because yeah. he's making a very really loud noise right now. Will you come here? He is only 11 weeks. Extremely cute. Aww. This is Barkley. He makes a lot of noise though. He lives up to his name. <laughs> Are you going to be quiet? Are you going to be quiet? I'll put him over here. Hopefully he'll be quiet. Um, I'm sorry. Back to what you were saying about Nairn. Um, um, I would love to go love, there. Yeah, we love going there on holiday. Where do you live? Scotland. What part of Scotland though? Um, Perth and Kinross. So I grew up about 20 minutes from Nairn in Inverness and we used to go there all the time because my brother would go and play golf and when he was playing golf we would go to the beach and we would go and get ice cream and on a nice day Nairn Beach was the best place ever to be. Okay, um, how did you get into doing interviews and what tips can you give me? <laughs> oh my gosh, how did I get, well I went to university in Glasgow. Uh -huh. and media and communication and they teach you how to do interviews when you're doing that at university so that was fun um but i think what you're doing is the best thing ever i mean you can go to obviously everything you learn in school is very important however i think when it comes to talking to people the more practice you can get the better the more confident you can be the better and i always think that when you're doing an interview you just have to Pretend you're talking to a f so don't be scared or intimidated. You just have to be very confident and pretend you're having a conversation with one of your best friends. Okay. That good advice um, for you? Yeah, what pets do you have and what are their names? Well, you just saw Barkley, who is sitting over here <laughs> on my bed. Um, that's Barkley, he's 11 weeks old. He is an English Bulldog. And then my boyfriend and I have another English Bulldog half and his, his name is Bowser. Uh. So we have two and right now they're brothers, obviously. They don't love each other as much as they probably will because <laughs> they bark at each other and they fight. But um, the little one annoys the bigger one all the time right now. How does the internet work? Oh my goodness, that is one of the most difficult questions I think I've ever been asked. If I, if I really did understand how the internet worked, I think my mind would be blown and I would be extremely confused all the time. So I just take for granted the fact that when I turn on my computer and I turn on my Wi-Fi, and I see that little symbol in the corner that it's gonna work and that is okay with me. That's all I okay. need to know. I have I have to think about too much golf and stuff to worry about how it okay. actually works. If you had to wear one set of clothes for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh my goodness, once, do you know, I think because we've all been spending so much time at home right now, I just love wearing like leggings and a hoodie. Oh. It's my favorite thing. But I do actually have a hoodie that I got at the Masters when I was there a few years ago. So I would say that I would want to just wear leggings and a hoodie every single day. But when you have to do Zooms and you have to be on camera, sometimes you have to be a little... Yeah. <laughs> um, when did you know your, bro your brother was going to be a big golfing star? Oh, well, he's always been extremely good at golf. And as far back as I can remember, he would be playing golf every single weekend. And after school, he'd be out with my dad or some of his friends. So when he came over to Florida to go to university and do a golf scholarship, and 
I think we like we always knew that he was very talented, but I think when he made that decision to actually take it very seriously and try to turn it into a career, that's when I thought, oh my gosh. And then as soon as he started playing on the PGA Tour and he was playing with all these big names every single week, and especially now when he plays in the same tournament as Tiger Woods or Rory McIlroy, it's like, so sometimes you still have to pinch yourself and be like, wow, Russell's actually living the dream and playing with all these amazing superstars. Um, I think I still have to remind myself that he's one of them because he's my little brother at the end of the day. But I always knew that he was going to be very talented and do very well. Who is the biggest celebrity you have ever interviewed? Oh, well, I once got to interview Chris Martin from Cold. That is. Have you heard of Coldplay before the band? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, just before I moved to America, I got to interview him. He played at um, Coldplay. Were playing at Hampden Park, so I got to go to Hampden Park and interview him. That was pretty cool. Okay. Um, I once asked Tiger Woods a question in an interview at the Players Championship, and I was very excited. I was very nervous to actually ask Tiger Woods a question. I was shaking, but that was fun. I- 15 minutes before talking to you, I interviewed Mark Leishman, the golfer. Do you know who that is? No. He's an Australian golfer and the tournament that's this week on the PGA Tour at Torrey Pines in San Diego, he won it last year. So I just interviewed him to talk about how he won last year and how he wants to go out and win again this year. Okay. (laughs) Um, Who will be the next Scotsman to win the Open, do you think? really need to ask me this question. Do you think you could guess who I'm going to say? Your brother. Yes! And I really hope that it's next year at St Andrews because I'm definitely going to be there. And I think if he could win the Open at St Andrews, then that would just be like a dream come true. If I could wish for anything in the world right now, that's what it would be for him to win the, the Open next year. We love St Andrews. Yes! What do you like best? or St Andrews? Um, probably the caravans on the beach. Yeah, that would be fun. I would love to do that. Okay, next question, last question. Oh. Would you rather be licked to death by a hundred puppies or a hundred <laughs> stone puppy? I think I'd be, I would want 100 puppies only yeah. because this one being so small is the cutest thing in the world. And yeah. Our other bulldog, well, he's um, about 58 pounds. I don't know what that is in stone, but he is a big dog even at that. So when he jumps on you and licks you, it's like, ah! But I think the little ones, because they're very cute. Um, Yeah, that would be the correct answer if there wasn't a correct answer. (laughs) Well, well, I was going to ask what your answer would be, but now I know. Do you have any dogs? Yes, we have three. One puppy. One puppy, one 15-year-old and one 10-year-old. Oh my gosh, how old is your puppy? Uh, nine months or something like that. Seven months. And what kind of dogs are they? We're the Collies and he's very cute but pretty big. Okay, that's nice. That's a lovely dog. Mm Mm-hmm. Good. Oh, well, I've thoroughly enjoyed your questions. That was so much fun. Thank you very much. Thank you for asking me. I was very flattered to be asked. Make sure to hit the subscribe button with all notifications turned on. Like the video if you liked it.